the Washington football team. Last year, they were 7-9, and nine and they won the division, lost to Tampa Bay in the wild card in a tight game. Where do you see them for the 2021 expectations? Absolutely. So they're going to be expecting this defense to still be top five. You know, second year for Chase Young coming in. Great pass rusher. Um, I, th- I want to say after... I don't remember specifically, but like after week 12, week 14, he was the second highest rated rusher in the NFL as a rookie behind Khalil Mack. So Chase Young is obviously going to improve this year. You look at Diami Brown as well. That was a steal out of UNC, pairing pairing him up with Scary Terry, you know, him being out there. They want him to progress as well. And another thing is I feel like, unfortunately, with these Washington fans, they know Taylor Heineke's not it. They're going to be looking for Ryan Fitzpatrick to potentially lead this team to at least a decent playoff run because of that defense. I don't see that happening, though. So that is going to be my expectations. And for this team, it it is going to be tough because you saw a good uptick in them last year. But they're still falling short in some categories to where I'm not confident in them taking that leap necessarily. They could win the division, but only because it's, you know, excuse me, only because it is so bad, you know. So that is going to be my expectations, rather, for for the Washington football team. All right, so what do you have them as their reality? What, what What's their record going to be? Their reality, honestly, I think this is about a 6-11 and 11 football team at the end of the day. Um, I think they're going to get the defense right for sure. I still think they'll be top five, no question about that. And potentially the wide receivers, but the fact that they didn't go really hard on the offensive line, when you look at a guy like Taylor Heineke, who can kind of move, but you still want some offensive line presence for any quarterback in the NFL. It doesn't matter who it is. And the fact that Justin Herbert, I want to say, was either first or second last year in the NFL as a rookie, With a passer rating under pressure, we've seen what pressure can do to Brady, Rodgers, Mahomes, Wilson, Breeze, anybody, you know? And the fact that they didn't address that offensive line for Ryan Fitzpatrick, for Taylor Heineke, I don't know if those wide receivers are going to be able to produce to that level. So I've got them about a 6-11 and football team going into this year. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. They could win the division only because it is so bad, though. Okay. Man, I feel like their 2021 expectation is that they finish 10-7 and seven and they get first place in the division. So I think all four teams in the division's expectation is that they win the division because right. the division was so bad. And they all have a very legitimate claim to think that they can win the division. Right. Because they were all within a game or two of winning it. So I think 10-7, and seven, first place, uh, at least a decent playoff run maybe into the second round would be the expectation for them with Fitzpatrick as a starter. We all know Fitzmagic is good for about the first six games of the season. He might could pull them about four games out of that. He'll start to sputter out. He may start the first eight or nine, and then they'll bring Heineke in. So, I mean, we're looking at the 2021 reality. It's not going to be uh, like all – it's not going to be great for them. They got the NFC South the same. I mean, they all have the NFC South and AFC West. I mean, in the NFC South, I think that the Washington football team – given the type of defense that they have and the fact that they play most of the teams in the NFC South within the first seven weeks. I think they'll go three and one against the NFC South, only losing to Tampa. The AFC West, one and three. think they'll lose the majority of those games, so that'll have them at 500 between those two divisions. Their three other games are a gauntlet. I have them winning none of them. They've got Buffalo, Green Bay, and Seattle. God. (laughs) They're not winning any of those games. I've got them going three and three in division, splitting with all three. Yep. So that's where I have them, seven and ten. And I think seven and ten will get them third place in the division. You'll see where I place the second place after that. So.